In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called find smallest letter greater than target. So given a list of sorted characters letters, right, containing only lowercase letters, and given a letter, uh, target letter, target, find the smallest element in the list that is greater than the, the given target. So letters are also wrapped around. For example, if target is equal to Z, the letters are uh, is equal to A and B, and, and the answer is A because we are going around, right? In this case, um, so we're circling back. So here you can see we have an example where we have C, F, J, right? The target is A. A is smaller than the first character. Then we're just going to return this the, the smallest character, right? The smallest letter that is greater than the target. In this case, the smallest letter that is greater than the current target, which is C. Right, and the output is C. And here you can see we have another um, array, right? Basically, we want to find C. The character that is greater than the current target is now is F. And then we just return F. And then there's a couple of situations where we have D, right? D is between C and F, right? Then we just return the character that is greater than the target, but the smallest character in this case is F. And we have G. G is in between F and H, F and J. Then we're just going to return the next um, smallest character that is greater than the target. In this case, J. Okay, so there's a couple more examples. And if we have a situation like J, then the next smallest character, because we wrap around, in this case is going to be C, right? And we if if it's beyond J, then it's going to go with C, right? So it's going to go if if the character that is like the target is bigger than the last character or bigger than or equal to the last character, we're just going to circle back, right? In this case, we're gonna return the smallest element, which in this case is gonna be the first element because the array is sorted. And to solve this problem, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use binary search because uh, for binary search, we can actually just search the range, right? Let's say we have G, right? G is not appear anywhere in the array, but we know that G is somewhere between F and J. And if we cannot, and, and if we use binary search and we cannot find that element, but we at least know where it is, right? In this case, it's between F and J. So we can just return, uh, we can just capture those elements, the right, this is gonna be our left pointer, this is gonna be our right pointer, and we're going to return the right pointer element, in this case, is J, right? So we always return the, the, the very right element, and that's gonna help, that's basically going to be how we solve the problem, right? So in this case, this will give us a time complexity of login, and the space complexity in this case is going to be constant. So let's try to implement this in code. Our first step is to um, get the length of the array. Dot length. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to see if the current character, right, in this current character is actually up, uh, beyond the boundary, right? If it's bigger than J and it's less than C or the, less than the first character, then what we have to do is we have to return the first character. So what we're going to do is if letters at n minus one, right? If n, if the last element in the array is is less than or equal to the target, or if the first character in the array, right, is bigger than target. Then what we're going to do is we're going to return the first character. In this case, it's the letters at zero. Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to perform binary search. We're going to have our left pointer, which is equal to zero, and our right pointer is equal to n minus one. We're going to say is the while left plus one is less than right pointer, we're going to perform binary search. Uh, the reason why we're doing this is because we want to do post processing, right? We're gonna after we find the range of where they going to like where the um where the target um is located, right? The range where the target is located, we're gonna return the rightmost element, right? The right pointer. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna first get our midpoint. Then what we're going to do is we're going to see 
if letters, right, letters at uh, mid uh, is less than or equal to the target, right? So if it's less than or equal to the target, what we're going to do is we're going to get the left pointer is equal to the mid. And otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to get the right pointer is equal to the mid pointer. After this, after we perform this binary search, we found we, we basically found the range, right? Is is going to either be the left pointer, right? The if the if the left pointer is uh, there could be a situation where the left pointer is equal to target, or is somewhere in between left and right, right? In this case, what we're going to do is we just have to return, right? That return the um the letters uh, right okay so now let's try to run the code and let's try with a few more examples um, let's try something like d right so and then we also going to try something that's between f and j in this case g and let's also try something like J. Okay, so now let's run the, run the code and let's submit. So here you can see we have our answer. The time complexity in this case is gonna be login. Uh, 